Okay, so you've come to Asia, you've managed to get yourself a football trial, what can you expect? When I first came to Thailand, I had a, a few football trials and one of the first ones that I went to, I remember there being like 30 trialists that day. So they just played 11 versus 11 of trialists and there was people on the bench and I think I only got like 20 minutes. So that was difficult. That was an introduction to trialing in Asia. Another time I went to a trial, the agent called me before and he's like, yep, yeah, the coach knows who you are. Um, just go down there, the training starts at this time. So I go down there and the coach doesn't even know who you are. So, yeah, so many people have told me this as well. Like this has happened to some of my friends as well. They've been to trials and the coach doesn't even know you're coming. So sometimes management, maybe the agents talk to the management, they haven't told the coach and the management have been like, yep, just go down there, this is when it starts. And they tell that to so many players. So sometimes, yeah, there's lots of trialists there and the coach doesn't know who you are. So another time I was supposed to play a trial match at a specific stadium, so my agent brought me. We got to the stadium half an hour before and there was no one there. So the agent calls up the management and they said, nah, it's been moved to another stadium. So we go to the other stadium. By the time we reach there, Bangkok traffic's terrible. It's already half time. So always check on the day or the day before where everything is gonna be. So you know nothing's changed and you can just go there with, you know, no worries. I've been to trainings which they've changed the time they've made it two hours later another time they've cancelled the morning training and you've had an evening training so always expect the unexpected okay so another another situation that happened to my friend he'd been training for four weeks at the same team and then they decided not to take him and they chose another player now i've learned that you should go for a maximum one or two weeks trial because the coach should have a good idea whether he wants you or not. And if you stay for longer, then you have less opportunity to go to other teams. I mean, the transfer window is closing at a certain date and you don't want to miss them opportunities. So after two weeks maximum, I would say to the coach, do you want me or not? And they should have a good idea whether they do. All right, so another time, went to a training, we're supposed to be training on this field, but it's booked out, we can't use it for whatever reason. So we're doing some running on the street, I think it was in a park, and there was another trialist there, and he didn't bring running shoes. So he was running with his football boots, can you imagine this, running with your football boots on the street, on the hard bitumen, on the concrete. Not good for you. So you've always got to come prepared to a trial, bring some food, if it's going to be a long training, you want to eat straight after, maybe there's nothing around which you can purchase, bring some water, bring your shin pads just in case there's a game. Also if it's raining then you want to bring your metal cap boots because the firm ground boots will not be good when it rains down hard and it's hard to get a grip in the ground. You'll just keep on falling over and it doesn't look good. Every player in Asia has metal cap boots. All right, just one other situation that's happened to me. So I've gone to a team. I'm actually a number 10, an attacking midfielder, second striker, and I've been trialed as a center back. So always be prepared. Maybe you won't play your position and that's just how it is. So be prepared for that situation as well. Okay guys, so that's just a few examples of what's happened to me in trials. If you have any experience yourself of something that completely unexpected happened, then write it down in the comments. If you want to know anything else about trialing in Asia, then write it down below. And yeah, smash that thumbs up and until next time, ciao guys.